20 years ago, Kurt Tutta came to Vienna and told me he doesn't have a grave for most of his family killed during the Holocaust. And I very much can relate to this. My grandmother was gassed in Auschwitz. My great-grandmother was killed or starved in Theresienstadt. So there is no place where I can go to. There is no cemetery. There is no tombstone where I could touch her name. And I have been uh, working with survivors for 26 years. And I gave them a promise. And this is something that they all wanted to know that Austria will never forget them on one hand and also never forget the descend the um, ancestors who were killed during the Shoah. So here we have a place in the middle of Vienna where descendants can go and touch the names of their killed in the Shoah. And for the ones who have nothing to do with the Holocaust, when a young person crosses this huge area and sees more than 64,000 names, it touches your heart because you start asking, who were they? What happened to them? And each name you see there is a world which was killed. A recent report in Austria said that anti-Semitism was at a 19-year high. How concerned are you about that? We are very concerned because uh, We've been uh, training teachers, we've been uh, training policemen, the justice. I am the co-head of the Austrian delegation to the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance. We have made a definition against anti-Semitism because you can only fight something that you know. So we made a definition and it's going to be adopted by football clubs, also by justice, etc. We need to continue. We, we have to be really careful. Unfortunately, anti-Semitism is on the rise everywhere. And it's not only the old fashioned anti-Semitism, it's also the anti-Semitism, which is sometimes uh, hidden behind criticism against Israel.